never promised I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of really fun stuff to share with you guys. We are actually going to be heading out to our front porch. We're gonna be getting that all cleaned and decorated for fall. This is our first time having our front porch actually decorated in our new house. So I'm really excited just to see how everything turns out. And I really wanna make it very inviting and just super cozy. So hopefully everything will turn out how I'm kind of hoping it will. But before we head out there, I actually wanna jump into the kitchen and just get everything nice and clean in there and also share a really easy and quick crock pot recipe. That's what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight. So I wanna get that going before going into our front porch. So anyway, we have a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say yeah. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different When I got my things in place Stuck in this commotion How come I ain't past this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I change I promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. Start a life in the country. I could say yes to that, whatever way you want me. I learn it all and I adapt Even if I changed up Everything except my name We will still be fighting Cause I am still the same I wanna me to be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same even though I changed Really made an effort, promise I would change but some So a few of you have suggested in the comments just to swap our dining room around a little bit and basically move the chairs to the other side of the table and then move the bench to the front side of the table where you see it from the kitchen. So I decided to go ahead and do that today and just see what you guys think. I think I'm actually liking it the new way a little bit better, but I'm not totally sure on it. So let me know your opinion in the comments. But something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about was something that I actually had mentioned to you over on my community tab for the last several months I have been sharing one longer video every week but I've kind of been toying with the idea of sharing two shorter videos every week and so over on the community tab I had actually asked you guys which you would prefer and I think the majority of you have said that you would rather have two 15 to 20 minute videos instead of one 30 to 40 minute video so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try that out on the channel for a little bit and see kind of how you guys are liking that I feel like it'll give me the chance to share a little bit more variety on my channel channel and it will also be a lot easier than sharing a really really long video so we'll kind of see how it goes no matter what I don't think I'll end up having two videos every single week I think I will still have an occasional longer video one week and then some shorter videos another week but either way just kind of pay attention to that over the next little while and kind of let me know how you're liking it being so broken girl I can't forget about what we said I just want to love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just want to love you a little bit more Oh, I know that it's difficult dealing with emotions But I want you to know that you'll always be on my mind Just wanna love you a little bit more. 
So you guys know I love throwing in a few mindset chats here and there in my videos. I just feel like it's always beneficial for us to kind of work on our mindset and just be more aware of things. So anyway, the other day I was talking to my friend Lynn and we were both just kind of going through some things personally and sharing about that with each other. And she ended up sharing some of the things that she felt were her shortcomings and I was doing the same kind of sharing with her how I was feeling like I was falling short. And it was just kind of eye-opening to me again because as she was saying the things that she was feeling like she was falling short in, I was just looking at her and not understanding how she was feeling that way at all because I see her in such a different light than she's seeing herself. And the same for me, she sees me in such a different light than I see myself. We know all of our imperfections and we really kind of tend to focus on our flaws, I feel. And so I was just thinking, man, I really, really wish that we could see ourselves like others do. I feel like we would love ourselves so much more. We would have better self-esteem. So I would challenge you to talk to a friend or your partner or your siblings or somebody and just tell each other some things that you think about the other person. Continue to build each other up because really we are amazing and we need to stop being our worst enemy in life. We need to be building ourselves up and it's sometimes hard to do. So find someone that you know loves you and just let them build you up a little bit and completely believe the things that they are saying and do the same for them because we deserve to enjoy this life and just love ourselves. And and I really feel like this could be so impactful for us. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. Okay. So the kitchen is all nice and clean. I am gonna tidy up the living room once we're done with this, but it's really just putting a few throw pillows and blankets away. But the recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys is a really, really easy one. It's just one that you basically chop up all of your produce and then toss everything in the slow cooker and let it do the work for you. So it is a slow cooker meatball stew. It is super, super delicious, really hearty. And I feel like it's perfect, especially if you live somewhere that's pretty chilly right now where you're starting to get into like that crisp fall air. It's so, so cozy and perfect for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and chop up all of our produce. And as always, I will have a recipe card put up on the screen so you can go ahead and screenshot that and kind of refer back to it whenever you want or you can also print it off as well. Set up a stage of flies Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves so like I said, the first thing that you're going to do is start by chopping up all of your veggies and you can choose to peel your potatoes or leave the peel on. We just wash them really good and usually opt to leave it on, but that's totally up to you.
So now once you have all of the prep work done, you're just going to add everything into your slow cooker. So you're gonna add your chopped up veggies, your frozen meatballs, ketchup, water, vinegar, and basil all into your slow cooker, and then stir that until it's all well combined. Now I will say you can totally add more water if you want this to be like a thinner stew. It is very, very, very thick when you're done, but we really like that. We just feel like it's very hearty that way, but definitely know that you can change that up and you can also change up this recipe a lot. Like if you like a lot more potatoes, if you like a lot less meatballs, if you like more carrots, kind of whatever you like, definitely customize this to your own liking. It's not really one of those picky recipes, so it will turn out amazing however you do that. Now, once you get everything added, in you are going to put the lid on and then cook on low for six to eight hours and I will show you a little bit later on in the video how everything turned out but it is so so yummy So we are out front, right in our front porch. I have some things that I've had for years and I have a few new things for our porch. I'm gonna kind of start pulling things out, especially since being in the new house, I've just been not really sure how things are gonna turn out. It's just like totally new spaces. I kind of have like an idea of how it's gonna turn out or like what I'm gonna do in the space. And then there are some areas where I'm like, I really know not much of an idea. So I know I'm going to start with a big rug and a front porch rug. I know I have a wreath and then I have some other ideas. So I'm going to start kind of slowly getting into it, I guess. Um, but bear with me. This is always how it goes. You just, you just got to start somewhere even when you don't really know where to start. But before we do, I am going to turn you around and give you a good overview of kind of how everything is situated out here. Okay, so you walk into this like little corridor area and then off to the side, this is actually open, but I do have the bench that we had at our old house there. And then just the pillow that we had there, it's kind of sitting there on its own, looking a little lonely. And then right here we have our front door. This is a rug that I got from Costco a while back. It's actually been kind of a little bit of a tripping hazard. We shifted it to this side because it's it was like tripping everybody. So I think I'm gonna trade that out for something that might work a little bit better in this space. And then off to the left, we have like these little chairs and table. I'm not sure if I'm gonna decorate over in here or if I'll kind of try to keep it more in this area, but we have like a very, very blank slate to start with. So it'll be good. to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah 
So once I tidied everything up out here and got a clean slate going, I just added this textured 3x5 rug as a base and then I added just a regular welcome mat and I love doing this layered look because it really makes things look a little bit more high end and it also starts to tie in any decorations that you might have on the side of your door just because you can kind of sit the decorations on top of the bigger rug and it just pulls it all together and makes it look very cohesive. And as usual, I will try my best to link everything that I can find down below. A lot of these things we did already have and also a lot of things came from TJ Maxx and Home Goods, so I can't really link those, but anything I got from a traditional store that's still in stock, I will definitely link it below. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments and I can try to answer where I got everything from. It's always mixed emotions. The first step is always hard. When you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh, oh. Come run away. I think I'm like partially done. I really like this area over here and I think I like this area. I actually wish that I could kind of elevate this guy a little bit more, but at the moment I'm just drawing a blank of things that we have that would work and I don't run out, want to run out and just grab something for that. So at the moment we're just going to leave it as is, but I do have these hay bales. I'm thinking I'm going to end up returning most of those hay bales because I was just like hoping I could do a lot more hay bale stuff in here. I think I really loved how that little nook turned out inside the house and so I was kind of trying to recreate that a little bit, a little bit differently, but kind of the same concept out here. So I got those hay bales thinking I would do that and I'm just not really seeing like a good spot for them. I did use one down in here just to add a little texture and like background in there. It's actually still wrapped and I don't think that you can really tell that it's wrapped so I might even just leave that and it will just like stay a little bit nicer and not as messy so anyway. But I do think I want to do a little something out here so I have, I brought this table down from upstairs. I think we're going to still use that one. I'm going to wipe it off and then just kind of see what I can do with this area. I want to keep it pretty simple over here, but still add something. So let's carry on. So as I'm continuing decorating, you'll kind of see that I've added a mix of Halloween and fall. And the reason I'm doing that is because one, I want this to be really fun for our kids because they live here too. And I just know that they don't quite have the same love for fall decor as I do, yet they love Halloween and all the jack-o'-lanterns and things like that. But also I'm doing this because I only want to decorate once. So I'm just kind of mixing it all together and it's neat doing it like this because it ends up making the space look really intentional and it's not full-blown Halloween, but it's just kind of a mix of Halloween and fall. So I ended up remembering that I had this canister. I had actually had this since we lived in Utah. It used to have a top and I have no idea. I think the top got ruined, but I can flip this upside down and you don't even know that that's not how it goes. So I think I'm gonna try that and see how that works.
so here I'm just going through and adding in some battery powered candles just to kind of liven this up during the nighttime. And I love how everything turned out. However, I really want to find some that are on like a timer or it would be great if we could find some that were solar powered and that way I wouldn't have to change them out throughout the season. But if you guys know where to find some great candles like this that are on a timer, definitely let me know in the comments. Here is how the stew turned out. As you can see, it is so thick and hearty and it's very, very cozy and warm. And we typically will serve this with a side salad and a dinner roll and just call it a day. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. I really am so thankful to be able to share this all with you guys and just be able to enjoy this community together and just bounce ideas off each other. I hope you guys got lots of ideas from everything that I shared today, whether it's just some cleaning inspiration or decorating ideas for the seasons or even just hanging out with a friend and hearing that little mindset chat that I shared with you guys earlier. Either way, I hope this video is beneficial for you to watch. I hope you are having the most amazing day. You absolutely deserve it. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!